When it comes to valve train components, Faria have been in the business for 45 years and they've got some fantastic products and that's why we've stopped by today at SEMA to chat with Zeke Uritia, Director of Marketing, mate. I just want to find out, tell me a little bit about your company and some of the history. We manufacture specialized in valve chain components. We do valves, valve springs, retainers, locks, uh, seat locators, guides, and also valve seals. And that's really where our main focus is of our business. That's the core of our business is we specialize in all these different materials, stainless steel, titanium, tool steel, that's been really popular now for the past two, two and a half years that we've really been nailing the market with uh, custom retainers that we've been building in tool steel. Yeah, and SEMA is obviously an important show for you guys. Oh, it's very important. We've been uh, doing SEMA shows for the past 15 years, yeah. and um, we've just come back to the show uh, last year to exhibit here. And this whole West Coast feeling of the market, the hot rod market, the performance market is very, very big for us. Okay, well let's talk about some of the products that you've got on display here. You have some new products for 2012. Let's go through, say, the 6000 series. The new 6000 series, we got a 516 valves that we're doing now for the performance. It reduces the stem diameter from 11 30 seconds to 516 in the 6000, reducing weight on the valve train for a hot rod type engine. Now when in turn it, it builds up a lot more RPM in the motor. You're gonna gain now three, four hundred more RPM through the engine, reducing some of the weight on the valve. And you've got these for a lot of applications? Yeah, we have them for the Fords, uh, we have them for the Chevys. Uh, we're also gonna do them for the Dodges as well, Chrysler, Mopar uh, as well. And um, we're enhancing also the design, the design of the valve where we're feeling that mainly a lot of design is being tapered to where the profile of the valve is 10 degree. 10 degree stuff works very well on a lot of heads that haven't been ported, which a lot of heads typically on the hot rod market are untouched, you know? And the guys want to make four or 500 horsepower street, street applications, and this type of design enhances it without touching the cylinder and doing any port work to it. All right, so who are the guys that are gonna benefit the most out of using this kind of equipment? Uh, mainly the hot rod guys, uh, even guys that are doing small, you know, race uh, type applications. Um, very, very limited classes that basically untouched engines that you can't do much to, create engines. These valves are ideal for that, for that type of application. There are other valves on the market, there are other products out there, but what separates you from the competition? Well, well we manufacture our valves all in one piece. Uh, they're all basically CNC finished, uh, swirl polish. Um, we also enhance uh, all the valves with undercut stems that we put a hard chrome stem that we use for the coating on the valves. And we, we build into what we feel that the design of the valve, again, is mainly what puts in the best flowing valve into uh, most of these cylinder heads that are out today in the hot rod market. Excellent. Well, let's talk about some of the custom stuff. You're offering a new range of retainers now. Yeah, we're offering uh, now the uh, tool steel retainers. Uh, again, they've been very popular now for us for two years. Um, and it's growing slowly and slowly in every single segment of the Ford and Chevy, also in the small four-cylinder market as well. Most of the small four-cylinder uh, Chevy engines as well as the Ford engines. Uh, as well as the Japanese engines, we're doing a lot of tool steel retainers. You're getting that type of durability and longevity on the tool steel retainer compared to the titanium retainer. And is the ability to obviously get the light weight in the tool steel as well, where it's only two to three grams heavier than titanium. Does that help with your price points as well? As well, it's, it's a little bit more cost effective, you know, to get in tool steel. You're gonna pay a little bit less money, you know, for a tool steel retainer as well. And, uh, you know, very beneficial for, again, performance type engines, street engines. Excellent. All right, Zeke, it's been fantastic chatting with you. If you'd like any information about the products that we've seen here today, just go to faria.com and they'll be able to help you out. Cheers, Zeke. Thank you.